Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel for this week's plan with me. So last week ended up pretty cute. I feel like I was too stuck on the idea of using up sheets before moving on to stickers that were on repeat sheets, if that makes sense. So I feel like it could have come together a lot better, but oh well, it's, it was a productive week and that's the important thing. So this week I'm finally going to be using some stickers that I got in the Target dollar spot a couple years ago and they're very pretty and bright colors and I've just never used them. I've used a couple of them here and there but never really got down to it. So this week my focus was on celebrating. It was an eventful week. I had my four-year anniversary with Lex, I launched my new podcast, Friends with Benefits, and I celebrated Thanksgiving. Pretty simple stuff. If you aren't aware, Friends with Benefits is a podcast with me and my boyfriend going through every single episode of Friends. I'm a big fan, he isn't, and I'm trying to change his mind one episode at a time, starting with a pilot, going all the way through. So be sure to check out the link to the podcast in the description box below. So quickly I write down the recipes that I'm going to be eating this week for the Thanksgiving meal plan for this week. I use the Clean Food Dirty Girl meal plans. They are whole food plant-based, super healthy, and super delicious. I also ended up using some leftover stickers from one of the monthly pages of a book I got from Hobby Lobby. It shows an umbrella in the rain and says when it rains dance this is probably actually from a springtime month but in la rainy season is the winter months so i went ahead and put it there because it's been raining a lot so i was feeling very run down this week i had I had a rough start to the week. It's a good thing that everything else was celebratory because I had a bad encounter with a client and I'm sure it was partially my fault. I just took the way she was communicating with me as very aggressive, very rude. And in retrospect, she might've just been not great with email communication. She sent me a bunch of emails at once and I felt like under attack or something so I was just like you know what let's just not work together um you can just not use my edits and don't pay me and we went our separate ways but of course it's been bothering me all week stuff happens but I just beat myself up about such things I also have not been feeling well I'm starting to get over it finally but I had a bit of a rough cold for a while so for Monday, I put this really pretty hello sticker and marked down deal with nonsense, which is the thing I was just talking about, and also just watching TV. I needed to rest that day. I did do some errands and film a little bit of YouTube stuff, but mostly just relaxed. One thing that I've also figured out for this week is which planner I'm going to be using in the coming months after I finish up in the Clever Fox Planner. I'm definitely going to move on from the Clever Fox Planner. You can see I don't really use all of the sections anymore. It's it's fun in theory, but just with the way my mind works, I very rarely fill out the sections the way I'm supposed to. So I marked down my nannying hours with my orange midliner and I try to color coordinate it as much as possible, but there's really only so many colors to choose from. So there's like a purpley pink that I used for the podcast, pink for YouTube, blue for my routine, orange for the nannying. And you'll see how that all comes together. I decided to try to mark down my income. I always try to integrate my budget planning with my daily planner and it really just never works. So I'll probably continue to try because in theory, I would love to have everything in one planner. I just never end up writing down my spending when I do it that way. Mm -hmm. 
So on Tuesday, we were supposed to record the podcast, and I was going to edit it on Wednesday. We ended up, again, not doing it this this week, and that's part of why we backlogged so many of them. We're 12 episodes in, and the first episode just launched for the public, and so because we just, my schedule and his schedule are so all over the place, and also we really need to prioritize self-care sometimes, and so we just set ourselves up to succeed and not disappoint people by having missing weeks or anything. We're never going to have a missing week. We are months ahead. It's going to be good. So Wednesday was our anniversary, so I put down this heart that says anniversary on it. You can't really read it because it's really tiny font, but it was perfect for this. We didn't have any big elaborate plans. I worked in the morning and we watched The Irishman and ate some Beyond Burgers and fries. We wanted to get Veggie Grill, but it just wasn't in the budget this month. So we made the Beyond Burgers from the grocery store, and those are still fantastic. And we also got an air fryer for Christmas. It's not Christmas yet, but his mom visited us and got us one for Christmas, months ahead of Christmas. And we're able to make fries in it that are not terrible for you, and they are so good. So it ended up being a good night. The next day uh, was Thanksgiving. So we went to see my aunt and uncle and just hung out. So I put this festive wishes sticker and a whole lot of nothing, really. This week was a strange week for me. It was the first time in a long time that I've just been able to breathe and relax. I wish I could have enjoyed it a little more, but I was still a little stressed out about money, stressed out about the negative client thing. But overall, by the end of the week, I was able to get in some good relaxing time. I kept trying to bite off more than I could chew. I think I really needed the rest. I decorated a little bit for Christmas. I was going to do a vlog of it, and I recorded a little bit of that, but it just ended up being too much, so I let myself off the hook. I do want to do another day in the life vlog, though, for one of my really productive days. Those are basically, I did one before, and that was like an ideal day for me. I absolutely loved being able to spend my time exactly how I wanted to on that day. Usually, I'm, I'm too burnt out to do all of the things that I do, or... Just, I'm running around doing chores and working and stuff, but it was really fun to show what a productive day at home looked like. So for Friday, I put down a deck the halls and a present sticker because those were the things I needed to get done, uh, which was the collab I did with Budget Girl for Holiday Act of Kindness. And for me, it's small business holiday. I only bought gifts from small businesses. And then that was also the day that I decorated. And I also ended up putting a pair of scissors down to cut my hair, and I actually did it. I finally, I had to give up. I I really need to figure out my financial situation, and you guys will know that if you've been watching my videos. It's all very tight right now. I'm trying to get a serving job, but they don't have any openings, and this is really the only place I want to work, so I'm hoping they'll have something open up soon. But anyway, I was going to wait to cut my hair until I got a $1,000 emergency fund in place, but my hair was just getting too out of control and I couldn't stand it anymore. So I just cut it myself and I'm glad I did because it actually turned out really well. I was able to give myself some layers and things and it's definitely the best haircut I've given myself because usually for weeks after I give myself a haircut, I just have to keep trimming because things just don't feel right when I like run my fingers through my hair. It just feels funky. And it's not doing that this time, which is really exciting. So as per usual, Saturday and Sunday are my podcast and my YouTube days. Again, we didn't end up recording the podcast this week. We'll be back at it next week for sure. I had the best intentions of getting stuff done this week, but... Not every week is going to be a winner, and I think just the holidays and the celebrating, it was it was really nice to finally have a week like that. I haven't had 
a lot of downtime for a week straight and a really long time. But now that the podcast is up and the YouTube channel is more working like clockwork, like every week I just do my my budgeting and my planning and then any other videos that come up, it it's all streamlined and things are getting a little bit easier now, which is really nice. So that is it for this week. I hope you guys liked the video. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.